What's happening, people? We welcome you to the Run Off Family. It is time for evolution. So right now, as you can see in the uh, the speed paint or the video that you're seeing right now, it's like a me just practicing, knowing a certain uh, you know fat fat spots, like like learning like different you know the fat pads on the face, you know. For example, so if if like when you get older, you know the fat pads shrink, therefore it makes that uh, that shrivel look on on older people and etc. And you know that's something I didn't know. You know I didn't know the, the logic about that. That's something I recently uh, discovered. Even though you know I've been you know studying uh, anatomy, learning about you know the muscles. I've been learning about muscles, but then there are also like the, the fat pads, like these little nuances that you, that you just you know kind of discover when you're like going on Google Images and looking at certain things, and then you, then you go down the, the rabbit hole of anatomy. But uh, but yeah, uh, so something that I something that I've like wanted to like learn or you know just 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 speak about is just constantly just revisiting you know anatomy because every single time there's something new that you discover. So like like let, let's say for example you're reading a book you're, you're just now starting anatomy you're reading you're reading a book about anatomy and you know at, you've read that book for like you know a month you've studied it you practice it now you've stopped reading that book right and now that you've stopped reading that book now you're you're putting your knowledge from that book into practice with drawing or drawing your own works you know and then after like around like i guess two months of like finalizing or having that information ingrained in your mind as you're drawing uh you go back to that to that anatomy book and let's say you want to reread that anatomy book again and as you reread that anatomy book you're gonna start to to notice new things that you didn't pick up on that you didn't like really pick up on beforehand you know so even though you read it for the, the first time the second time you start to pick up on new information the third time if you read it another time you know around let's say a few months later on you start to pick up even more you know new information and that's really how i go about uh just in a process of studying anatomy you know so so constantly i'm i'm although like you know i'm not i'm not trying to like fill my head with 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 information of, about anatomy you know on 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 day one like i'm not trying to like get get everything you know get you know just get everything i'm not trying to like get get an overload of information into my head you know about about uh about anatomy or or anything involving you know drawing it's like a it's like a a process a daily process of like doing something little every day and then after that it just it just it adds on it adds on to your to your knowledge or it adds on to your library you know so let's say you do something you know a little bit you know every day you, you do something like for 30 minutes or an hour you know just something a little bit every day whatever whatever uh whatever topic that you want to study you know just do something one or two hours a little bit or 30 minutes a day and you see how it evolves in a year you know sometimes people tend to just you know they they overwork what they want to study you know they overwork their their mind with a lot of information you know because yeah they, they just overwork their minds with a lot of information and then they end up burning out uh in in, in in two weeks or in a month they end up just stopping in a month or so you know or two weeks or so but the the main point is they just end up stop they end up stopping because they're they're doing they're doing too much of what they aren't used to doing you know so that's why it's, that's why i say to like you know do do something a little bit you know just every single day so just you know 30 rather it's 30 minutes or, or or like you know two hours or so just do something a little bit every single day and watch it add up for a year you know because that as as it adds up for a year because because do something a little bit every day it doesn't really take as much effort you know because you're doing it you know just a little bit but every single day and it can add up to a year you know that that's a lot it's like it's it's kind of it's, so, it's similar to like a, an investment you know similar to like an investment let's say you're you're investing in crypto or you're investing in, in some kind of stocks right just put a little bit of money in it you know every single day and watch you know watch the investment grow you know in a year you know you don't put you know your entire life savings in that investment 
you know, because you're not, you don't, you don't have like any more money to, I guess, pay for the things that you need. And if, let's say, you put your life savings in that investment and the stock goes down, then you know, you, you, you're gonna want to pull out. You know, when when you invest money, you want to invest, you know, just a portion of what you can lose. You know, but technically, you won't really be losing it because it always goes up. But you know, if it goes down, you just want to make sure you just don't take it out of it. Just, you know, don't uh, don't touch it because eventually it will, you know, eventually it's going to go back up again, you know. So it, it's a matter of uh, it's a matter of patience and, and it's, it's a matter of patience when you're going into stocks or investments. And it's also a matter of patience when you're learning when you're learning a new skill. Just put put a little bit of attention, in, you know, every single day, you know, think about some, something new. You know, don't don't make it boring for yourself. You know, think about something Think about a new challenge, you know, every single day, but at a, at, but, but, but in a short, short time frames, you know? And so, you know, right now, the, the speed pain that you're seeing right now, you know, it's just me, uh, just me, uh, doing a, a little trace up on, on, uh, older people to see if I can spot, uh, the fat pads that are occurring on, on their faces, you know? through uh just through just tracing it a little bit from seeing like a, a physical uh, appearance of their face and then like tracing it to see like you know how the muscles you know align with each other so this exercise does help because i see this i see me so whenever let's say I, whenever i'm looking at you know now at least when i whenever i'm looking at an old person's face uh, I can see all these fat pads, the, the, sh the shriveled fat pads, and I can, like, and my mind just divides them. Like, I, I, when I, whenever I look into their face and I study it, you know, because of this exercise, I can translate, I can translate the exercise that I'm doing right here and put it into, into the real world, you know, and then look at an old person's face. And that'll be the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think about the video. Uh, what do you do to study anatomy? You know what, what's your process, and also I'll be uh, I'll, I'll I'll be attempting to make more more videos, more I'll, I'll, you know amp amp up the channel's a activity. You know my personal life has just been very you know occupied, just occupied. So yeah, so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.